Hello, in this video we are talking about how to find the area of rectilinear figures. This is basically how to find the area of any polygon given the coordinates of its vertices. In this case we are looking at a triangle with the given coordinates. So the method we are going to use is referred to as a shoeless method and this is the procedure we follow to find the area of that shape so area will be equal to we say a half of the magnitude of these coordinates you write them in this form you write the coordinates of a there coordinates of b and then coordinates of c and after you repeat the coordinates of A. If you had started with A, at the end, you, are, you write the coordinates of A again. In case you started with the coordinates of B, you repeat them at the end. So you shall be having 2, 1, and then the coordinates of B, 6, 3, C is 1, 5. And then you repeat what we started with which is 2, 1. So we're going to find the products. You multiply this with that. You multiply this with that. And then this with that. And then after, we subtract the product. And this and that. And this and this. And this and that. But remember, we should be having the magnitude at the end. So let's start multiplying. So we are starting with the one the, the red arrows that will be a half into let me use red to times thirty. And then plus 6 times 5, and then plus 1 times 1. And then for the green part, we subtract minus 1 times 6, and then minus 3 times 1. And then minus 5 times 5 times 2. And that is it. So the remaining part is just simplifying. That we simplify, that will be a half into this red part. We have 6, we have 30 here, and we have 1. So that will be giving us a 37. And then minus, here we have a 6. We have a 3 and we have a 10. And that should be a 19. So we shall say minus 19. So we have 30, 37 minus 19. We shall give us 18. So we have a half times 18, which gives us our answer as 9 square units. So this is basically how we find the area of any polygon given its coordinates of the vertices. So in case it was a quadrilateral, we could be having another another coordinate here for D. And we arrange them, there will be four, but at the end we, we put what we started with 
meaning we shall be having five columns with the two rows and then we start multiplying in that order and then subtract in that green order basically that is it thank you